How is this show made to date after we have this so far? You can tell us how are you feeling on the project every week. So, uh, you can just call on here or I just call, call names. So I would prefer if you wanted to talk. Anyone, just anything you can share, blockers, if you don't understand the business idea. Or just share your progress. Okay, so I'm just going to call name to save everyone this time. Uh, I think at the morning, Miron, uh, I mean, Milat, our address issue, have you fixed it, Milat? Maybe we can we can start by from that issue. Okay, uh, hi guys. Uh, good afternoon. Um, so uh, the issue I had was, um, if you remember, I asked earlier. So the redash was returning internal server error when I tried to access it from the browser. So I, I, unfortunately, I can't share my screen right now because I'm on my phone. Um, though, yes. yeah, I was hoping you would share screen and we can see through together here. But if you don't have the screen, I guess you can reach me uh, on the Slack. Uh, you you are using the site I shared to install Redash, right? On the Git readme. I'm I'm not no not exactly. Uh, I'm on Windows and the site you shared shows I, for Linux, I guess and. So I just yeah. randomly Googled it and installed. OK, so I would recommend also, I mean, uh, my operating system also is Windows, but I have installed VirtualBox to install Ubuntu. So I would recommend you to install on your Windows a VirtualBox application, and that would lead you to install a uh, Linux operating system additionally. OK, so, uh, so maybe I can show you what I'm saying right now, VirtualBox. Yeah, I can do that. So I think I can do that like later, maybe this week, because I think it uh, it requires more data for me. And um, it's kind of, I, yeah. I have like a, a, a kind of a, a weak network, so. Yeah, if you have uh, a storage on your operating system, just uh, at least 25 gigabytes, something like that, uh, the virtual box is enough for, it needs just, it's enough for the virtual box. Okay, how, how, how much did you say? How much space do I need? 25 gigabytes or 30 gigabytes is enough. Okay, I think I do have it. Yeah, yeah you probably have that. So, okay, try maybe can you share how can I install the virtual box instructions with sites? I don't know. Can you share it? Yeah, there's a lot of YouTube videos. Just search how to install virtual box in my Windows mm -hmm. and it can easily, uh, install, you can easily install just some application. Oh, okay. Inside it, you can install uh, from the Ubuntu website. They have their official website. Install their version. The, I think it's now 22 Ubuntu the version, the newest version. So install that, and you can call it from the virtual box. The installation. So anyway, just start the installation, and if you have error, maybe we can have a meeting that will guide you. It's okay. easy. So. So, uh, on Slack, what, what, what's your name? How? I think it says Rahmati Shana Tizor, okay. right? Yeah. Rahmati, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, the installation is really hard on Windows. So, if I don't know if you are, uh, some of you are uh, Windows operating system, if you, it's really hard to maybe, maybe it can be hard for you to install your entire operating system to Linux. But you have option to install VirtualBox and install it on that VirtualBox without touching your Windows operating system. So uh, Eridash is much easier on Ubuntu in its installation. Windows has, it throws a lot of errors. So 
uh, if it does work on Windows, it's good for you, but uh, just to save time, I would recommend using Linux operating system, one of the two ways. Okay, so any other blockers, questions? Okay, so uh, Nasrallah, could you share? Okay. Just a few questions. So I, I was having kind of trouble writing the documents. Do you have any recommendations how we can write the reports? I mean, maybe structure, structuring it. You mean for today's submission? Uh, yes, more? yes, today's submissions, yeah. You mean documentation is it almost the same like the submission you have made so far? You can use Medium. I can use what? Are you asking me tools to write the documentation? No, not tools, but how, how can I structure it properly? How have you been uh, submitting your uh, inter reports so far? Uh, may I interrupt? Um, if you yeah. Okay. Yeah, also I do have the same question. I think what she meant is about today submission, the interim uh, report. Since it's more of a review um, on so many tools, um, what type of format we should go with it? Like IEEE is the best way to write the documentations or what? Any suggestion? Okay, uh, can I uh, reply that back on the Slack? I need to... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how you are asked to submit your submission, so I need to check yeah, that out. The, the, on, on the task, um, on the challenge document, it says it's a PDF format, but I just we just want to know what exactly, what type of format, like writing a research report would be uh, on what type of format. And uh, sure, you could ask the team, but if you reply fast with us, would be appreciated. Okay, so I'm checking the document here. Uh, is is it in task one or task two? The part that's written about the documentation. Today's Sorry. submission. Today's submission. Um, task one. Today's. You say LLM revolution in planning work. Yeah, it's a small of a review of LLM um, and the uh, open AI. Uh, what else? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Lunch and components and okay. yeah, so it's more, it's more like a research report that you are going to submit. So it's, it's more of like an IEEE way of doing it, in it. Yeah, there there are a lot of tools that are put here. They want you to understand these topics and write what you're understanding and how they work. Mm -hmm. uh, you can finally, uh, as a conclusion, make your understanding on this tool so far with your own project with the given tax so based on this we plan to do this because it's also required for you to plan your work based on these tools so to try to finalize that uh, in your personal project as a team and so, is it that also added inside the report I, I'm, I'm not following you sorry uh, i'm sorry could you repeat your question again uh, what i was trying to ask is that is is Based on the understanding we get in the summary um, review we wrote or we're going to write, and do we need to do we need to also add how we're going to implement that inside of our project? Inside yes, I, yeah, that would be better as a conclusion. I mean, if you understand these tools and the the business idea, I, I'm sure you have the business idea of the whole project, so you can. Uh, indicate how you plan to use these tools in your project because it's, you have to plan your project by this time before starting your work so i think it's clear now right yeah 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 Maybe. if you understand these tools you would have an idea how you would use them 
for the project. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that would be your plan for the, for the project. So we plan to give history tools for this part of the project like this, just uh, some kind of guideline to plan your work. So how is it going? Okay, uh, is it clear, Narsala? I think. Yeah, um, I'm just a bit worried the fact that we do really have to impl uh, implement that because if, if, if it is as you stated, then we really need to take into the consideration with the rest of the teams. Um, and sometimes making a decision by your own, so since this no. is a more of an individual report, um, yeah. I let me share so you how we do it uh, in our previous asset training. Before we write report, we have a meet and we will discuss the whole uh, general idea of the reports. But we write it on, in our own uh, sound in our reports. But just have a meet and discuss how the report should be. Because your plan at the end of the day would be similar, but you have to talk about the plan and just write the plan based on your language or your own voice. So don't try to decide everything by your own just for this report. Just have a meeting and decide what the report should be like for your project. Um, what I meant to say, Mohammed, is that and um, that itself is taking it will be time consuming, honestly. And um, right, sure, no worries. Um, we will figure it out. Yeah, it will be it, it will yeah. be hard, but just try to try your best to have some time, at least five minutes, as a Mm -hmm. as, a, as a team before writing the report individually. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know who raised hand first, but uh, I guess Mora, you can continue. Hello, everyone. I'm facing a huge blocker. I'm trying to to do the read dash chat GPT plugin. Of done all the steps but when i try to to reload the site thing that it's unable to connect and i don't know where the problem is okay maybe could you share your screen and that's it uh, if you are on laptop my code or my yeah i think you have uh follow the read me right procedure yeah yeah, yeah. So what is happening with you try to review your instance i guess Okay, let me share my yeah my is it is it sharing no not yet I don't know where the problem is. Let me figure it out, then I'll I'll come back. Okay, you want okay. you can continue. Okay, so let me share my screen. Give me a minute. I think I'm ready. Can I just go? Okay. Okay. Is it sharing? Yes. Okay. So. Uh, I think it uh, told me the error part. I show you there? Uh, the error, the one when you try to review your instance. I think it's the error something there. Okay. 
no my error is when i'm trying to load the the site let me show you so after you uh put all the course and everything yeah the next thing you do is just refresh the uh, localhost that's what you do yeah 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 no you, before that you have to rebuild the redash instance to see the changes i rebuild i rebuild that you have what is your uh where is your re enter in a um, redash instance my dash instance redash redash sorry redash. Redash yeah it's in the vs code in the same folder okay have you run redash yeah yeah Just, yeah i have i have uh, could you show me how you run your redash from your terminal or something mm. What I did when I ran e Redash, I followed the step for the step yeah, for please, localize. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, could you unmute Pascal? Sorry. Okay. You can continue. Okay. I followed this. I followed the steps that was in the GitHub for lo local development. Okay. So in local development, if you see, there is a make build and make compose build. Mm -hmm. After you cha make change on the redirect source codes, you have to run these two commands again to see the changes. Okay, I, I run them, but I don't see any change. Like the first time the redash yeah. opened, and then when I went and do and tried to add the GPT plugin and came back and reloaded it, it refused. It's saying that it's unable to connect. Okay, could you open your terminal here? My terminal. Yeah. Either the visual is good. Yes, good terminal. Under view or on the menu part, just click view. Mm, on your editor, there's a view on the top right. On the top right side. No, sorry. You, you can see it up, above on the whiteboard thing. File edit selection view. I can't see it. In your editor here in the base code. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a terminal part. Yeah, perfect. So uh I, I don't think it's in the reader source code directory, so just be on the reader directory. Okay. Could you write a list? Just want to be sure. You can clear it and uh, uh, write yarn and build that one. Yarn? Yeah, yeah, that's enough. Just enter. You have installed all the package, right? The open AI, the React icons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, make build. Uh, so anyone who have a question and uh, that will just take a bit of time. Sorry? So I am asking if there's anyone who has a question. Okay. That doesn't need to screen sharing. Yvonne, you can continue. So I have been trying to, I have been 
trying to connect to my API key and it's telling me that my API key is invalid. Yeah, uh, so you just have to generate new one. Which API key are, are you using? The one provided in the group by the tutor. Okay, so could you, uh, do you guys able to get a new key with the link I shared on the word me? Yes, but now when I create a new key, I am not able to run the SQL queries. When I create a new key, it is telling me that I do not have permission to run that. If I want to run that, then I should upgrade. Okay, did you share this on the, on the Slack? Maybe if, 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 I want to be sure if only this is happening to you or to everyone. Pardon? I want to know this open a key permission denied is happening to you or to every trainee. So could you share that on the all weeks free channel? Okay. Sorry to interrupt. I, I think what she meant to say is that the moment she got a new key, um, since it's GPT 3.5 toolboard, then she don't have the access to run the SQL query, I believe. Uh, but the, uh, the one being given by Yebabal is not working for her. It could be how are you calling the API key? Would you mind if you share the snippet, the snip code of how you calling it? That is why I wanted to share my screen. I think I'm calling it just fine because the other one is working and it's telling me I don't have permission. So it shows that my the way the way I'm calling it is correct. The issue well, is well, not what what is saying. Sorry, uh, I'm sorry, guys. Just one minute. Mora, could you uh, copy the command I shared on the chat and run it? Okay, you guys can continue. So, Yuvan, maybe I guess we can it on the you can share your screen after Mora and we will sit together okay so it's happening only for you maybe there's an error on the how you call it okay uh sniff's running right now now on your browser no it's not Okay, uh, could you write, yeah, could you uh, make Mora, can, can I try to help you a bit? Okay. Uh, uh, why do you have yellow lines on Flask and OpenAI? I think maybe that might be the issue because on Airflow, that was my issue. So you can just try solving that and then see if it runs on the other side. I don't know. Well, could you run make up? Maybe it will show us the error if there's an issue package. I run make, make up. <laughs> there is no error. Yeah. Okay, uh, make a create database. It just try to run that one. Make. Uh, Make good database. I have shared on the Slack on the chat. Okay. Make create that. So it's not it's not still running, right? Pardon? This uh, the browser didn't work, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, OpenAI, I don't think it's installed again. So uh, could you open your pottery? 
Sorry, it has just worked. Sorry, let me just see. There is a file pipe project, the format, or pottery.log, sorry. There is a file, pottery.log. Pardon? On the chat, I have shared with the file. Uh, you can find it on, on the source. Okay. Code. Okay. Yeah, just. I don't think OpenAI is installed. That's fine. Okay. Just, uh, it's found on the files of the bottom of the folder. On the left side, just scroll over. No, no. Okay, I think we should have emit you and I uh, more more okay. Okay. Then. okay. We'll sit together. Okay. Okay. Anyone with a question? I mean, you want? I guess you can share right now. One minute. I'm sharing. Let me see. There it is. So this is how I am calling the API key. Okay, sorry, I am using Google Caller because my Jupyter notebook has a bug and the bug has not been the bug is an issue with the with the Jupyter company. Yeah. So this is how I am calling the API key. Yeah. So Nasrallah, is it different from how you are calling this? Would you... And then that is how I am calling it. Yeah. It's... No, uh, it's correct. It's not fine. What is saying? Okay. So this is the error. The error is saying incorrect API key provided. You can find your API key at here. So I do not know where the issue is. You have anything on the key right? You have missed any values? No, no. On okay, let me let me just copy it directly from Slack and come and paste it here because that is what I have done the past few times and it still gave me the same same error. So copy. Then paste. Yeah, the same, same error. So mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. Hey, could you just uh, scroll back on the code? Pardon? Uh, scroll back on the code. Uh, sorry. You have installed the OpenAI, right? There is no any package. Yes, I have installed yeah. it here. Yeah. So it yeah. has been successful. Mm -hmm. So maybe share it on the Slack. Maybe someone have. It's, it looks like you have done everything correct. It should have worked. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let me and thank you. Um, wait a second. Um, do you mind just if you input your own API key? Yeah, that I have done that, but now it tells me I don't have permission to run. No, no. Well, when you say that this bug went away, isn't it? 
when you give yes your... i input okay let me check if i still have the credentials of the api key uh, does it start with sk also yes okay. yes it starts with sk i created a new i can also create a new right now no need Let's test key two create secret Mm -hmm. Let me copy it. Let me paste it here. I show you what it was telling me. As you can see, this is different. So when I run, it tells it runs correctly. As you can see, it has accepted the key. But now it tells me, I check, please check your plan and billing details. So that means I do not have permission yeah, to run this. Um, I need to one. sorry Yvonne and copy paste the bubble key uh, also on the top and let's count if you are missing I believe it's, it could be due to missing um, characters so sorry? I just want how many I can kindly repeat okay no worries would you mind if you copy paste the previous uh, bubble thing here my, uh, my? under this uh, key back to where it was just control it and do it i'm sorry i can't hear you you have told me to copy and paste what just the so, 10 academies yeah. just let's see if the both of them are on the same length okay okay let me let me copy it and no, the not place it yeah. on the this key i don't yeah. know last. okay okay Enter ten mm, X ten X okay key two key two as you can see they are of the same length. Yeah. yeah so in that case um, something is going on with the of the security of the academy uh, it would be nice if you guys check on that because um, might be due to demanding of so many requests by so many of us could be the reason I don't know that yeah maybe that that was what I thought maybe it's because many of us have uh, have accessed it so maybe it has a limit yeah I mean the error would be like that the error that's giving you is invalid yeah okay so i don't think that's the reason so could you just uh, call key two on the open air okay and why you need to assign variable you just say key two i know but i i like doing it like this for me to know what is what exactly uh, yes. it's easier for me to understand it like this so yeah. the same same error Incorrect API key provided. Invalid yeah. request error. It shouldn't happen. It could be also that the API key is being revoked, and this is unauthorized. It's four hundred or one. Can you show me the error code? If you scroll down. One hundred and one. Yeah, four hundred one, which is more of a end user and unauthorized. Yes, so, authentication error so it means yes. i have i'm not allowed to use it out of yeah me. yeah yeah did you have the like source code is that a source code pardon did you have the source code for the plugin here on your laptop uh yes i do so could you just uh copy the integration code mm-hmm Okay. Since uh, that one just doesn't need much uh, authorization to work, it can do with the free one. So let's just see if it works. The, yeah, just the plugin that chat do py code. Okay, let me copy the whole of it. Let me comment on this. Sorry, 
one minute. Uh, I think this will work if I have read a and I am currently using. No, I am currently just copy the pay post function. You don't need the rest. The best? The function inside the class. Just copy that. Best resource function. Here yeah, it is. Yeah. That one. The resource. So I can use just, this one to. Yeah, just copy that one and paste it on your uh, notebook. Okay. The function only. Yeah. Okay. So here it is. So delete the value question part. Pardon? Delete the value and question line. Okay. We don't need those. Uh, on the question one, just uh, write some question. What's your name or something? Under quotation. And then, uh, I think, by. yeah, uh, just by, just, uh, yeah, delete those. I guess you can say return response data, or just you can use print also. This response data answer, answer, and then. Uh, you, that's so why let me remove to... this try because yeah. it it is giving me an error. I can remove it, right? Yeah, you can remove it. Uh, and just it's move one space back to. Could you move the space? The entire okay. function. Indentation. Yeah, also... yeah. Control Z tab. Okay. No, but back, mm. backspace. Uh, now, if I move backspace, it is going to delete everything. So I mean, sorry, yeah, yeah, it's going to take a while. But please bear with me. Let me do this and then press tab for me to get the correct indentation. I'm guessing right now it should be correct. Yeah, it should be. Okay, so let me. Yeah, it has uh, run. Okay, okay. So I I use this one. Okay. No, no. I, uh, you have to call the function to see if it's working or not. Yeah, uh, we have been shown how to call the you function. Remove the self parameter. It's not needed here. Pardon? The self parameter inside the function. It's not necessary. Or just remove maybe the function entirely. I remember. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, that's enough. Uh, paste here the open a key and the client uh, declaration okay. it and just call the function after that. I give the API key? Yeah, the key, the API key part. Uh, yeah. In, just paste both the three lines to see. Okay. okay. So I write them here. Yeah. Yeah. Now we Okay. Okay. You need to call the function. Yeah, sorry. Uh, 
the same error, right? Yeah, the same, same error. Um, I share a link that tell you the list of why you're getting 401. And the first one is say that the API key has been revoked. So I think even me, if I try now, it's not going to work because the API key has been revoked. And so I think it's a more of an Latin Academy issues. Um, okay. The okay. API key is not working, literally. Okay. Um, um, Rahmat, would you mind if you take a look into this? Uh, this and uh, please um, check if they sorry. Uh, I didn't catch your question. I'm sorry. No, I was saying, um, please take a look into this URL article. Um, it's actually AP in open AI uh, documentations. About so I, the fact that, yeah, I, it's a uh, key that shared by everyone is happening to everyone. It's something that is problem with us. But only if it's only happening to Mora, it's just another issue. Now, one of well, why I say that is because uh, one of the reasons is say the API key might be revoked. So it could happen revocations, and when too much demanding happened to us, so that might have that might be the issues. And I don't think the reason why most people are not sharing is like because. Yeah, uh, Morab, I would recommend you just uh, additionally to write this error you have on, uh, on the Slack, so I can know how many trainees have this problem. Morab? Uh, sorry, Yvonne, sorry. <laughs> okay. okay. Could you share that so I can know how many people are uh, having this issue? Okay, let, okay, me, let, me, share. let me screenshot it and then share it. Just invalid API you know. Okay, uh, could you just uh, could you uh, paste copy paste this uh, API key that I just shared on the chat? Could I? I have shared uh, an API key on the chat. Okay, okay. Just a last one. Time. Yeah. So should I paste the error first and then share the the then yeah. copy paste? Sure. Error because I'm in Slack already. Okay, sure. Um, I, I think we're not using the API key irresponsibly, responsibly, as uh, Yababa say. Um, we literally did the opposite of what you've ever said, so that could be the reason. So, pardon? Yeah. It's not you. Uh, I was talking to Rahmat. Yeah, okay, okay. It, that could be the reason also, so I'll check it out. Let me try this one. I hope it works. Uh, could you paste it on the below project, on, on the function? Yeah, on the function, okay. Sorry. Yeah, it's working. Answer, I am an AI assistant and do not have a name. I am here to assist you with your query and data visualization questions. How can I help you today? Yeah, it could you also just put on the above function, your function? Okay. So this is not connected to the database, so yeah. it's going to give an error. Yeah, it takes a problem. It's not your problem. It's just one. Okay. Chat completion object is not subscriptable. Okay, so oh, it accepted the key. Yeah, it accepted the key. So uh, I'll look into it, and we I guess we have to provide you another key. Okay. Okay. Thank this you. One. So let me stop sharing my screen. Yeah. I shouldn't use your key, right? <laughs> uh, it's okay. You can use it. It's it's the ATS key that I'm using for myself, but you can use it. Okay. Thank That's you. Right. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, anyone with a question? Uh, I guess I can answer questions on the, on the chat. I guess Salim asked about the report. Yeah, you could focus on the key points. Uh, it's uh, too much, but I think almost all of them are key points, especially for this project. So you probably will be touching everything, but yeah, if that makes it easier for you, you can focus on the key points, especially that is more connected with the project business idea. Now, the idea should, uh, for Kulani, the idea should be similar. The, um, for example, the plan, uh, the plan you are planning for your project, how you uh, decide to do the entire project should be probably will be similar because you the team all the team members have the same will have the same plan but uh, how we see the difference is on how you write it so uh, you are different people so probably you write your report will be different so we'll focus on how you we just want to see your voice writing the report it's not about just making it totally different from one another at the end of the second project, and it's the same project, so there will be an idea that you are not just here. So it's okay to have a shared idea. Just make sure you write it in your own words. And you, Yersalim, asked when we uh, when we build the back end, are we going to create an API and set a JSON format for the front end? So if you understand the chat GPT plugin that I have showed yesterday, it would answer uh, this question if you really understand the code there. So yeah, you have to create an API to make the integration with the OpenAI. How you call it with the front end, like I showed you, you can use the yesterday mechanism to connect the API with your front end. So I would recommend you to reject yesterday's tutorial session for the integration. Well, okay, I guess these are the two questions. So any other question you guys have, or just share me your progress. Those of you who haven't talked, like Miro Muche, could you unmute and tell me how you are, how you are doing? Miro, you there? Yes. Yeah, just give me a short uh, review on your work with your team. Okay. I am working on the data side, but uh, uh, I don't understand the data that's uh, there. Okay. My question is around that. Uh, how about the team, your team members? Do they understand it? Yes. So could you have a meet with them? Maybe they can yes. share you. Natala was the one. Okay. So I guess I will uh, leave you to Narsala. Narsala, could you help her understand the YouTube safety file? Yeah. Uh, we, we do actually had a meeting today, um, later. Yeah, yeah I but guess she has a question on this, so just uh, try to mention it and just give her detail on how you, you guys should do the thing. Okay, thank you. What is who is there? Who haven't I heard from? Magdas, could you? I haven't talked with Magdas, I guess, right? So, Magdas, could you share me your progress with your teams? You can, can you hear me, Magdas? Could you just... Okay. Uh, Nothing, yeah, 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 sorry, I have, I don't know how to pronounce your name, so, Nathanael, I guess, Nathanael, Nania, 
Could you unmute your mic and share me your progress with your teams? So, uh, anyone who know how to pronounce your name, maybe you can help me out. Nothing in I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. To pronounce it. Yeah. Uh, do any of one of you know who who I'm talking about? I guess this one is her name, maybe. No, I will share uh, your the API uh, with the Tenex team. Maybe NLQ will provide it to you. But until then, if mine is working for you, I guess you can use that. Like this. It's okay, it's a free key. I'm not paying for it, so uh, it, it won't broke me. You can use it. Uh, but uh, it will be provided from the Academy. Uh, it, this one is a free key, so it has limitations, so it might not work for you in the long run for your project. Yeah. So I guess the, the the woman or the lady that I want to hear from, she decided to stay silent. So I'm just going to leave that one. Who else? Radit, maybe you could share me. I guess you are the only one left. Oh, hi, everyone. Uh -huh. Uh, I was having really hard time installing Redash in Windows, but uh, finally I figured out. Uh, I didn't figure it out actually. It, it was uh, a problem of connection, and I have installed it using WC. I heard you before saying using virtual machines to install uh, okay, so, in Windows, right? Okay, great. So maybe you can help out me out since she has also Windows. So if you work for you, so she don't have to install virtual box. Uh, virtual box. My window is Windows 11, and uh, I was what I was supposed to do was there was a box, and I've just click the virtual box. There was a box to be selected, and I have just selected that box, and I was not supposed to install virtual machine. It's already on my PC, I guess. But what I did is uh, I have installed w WSA. And I have installed Ubuntu from Microsoft. Okay. So I'm using the Ubuntu terminal in my Windows. So, yeah. yeah, technically you are using VirtualBox for Windows 11. I think so, yeah. I, I was not supposed to install it, but I, I'm using VirtualBox. Yeah, OK. Then just may not just go with uh, our previous plan. Try to install VirtualBox and continue with that. Yeah. Yeah. If it is Windows 11, I think it's already on our setting, and we're supposed to just click it. Yeah, I guess maybe it's not, uh, her windows may not be Windows 11. Is it Melat? Okay. okay, Melat is also saying she's on Windows 11. So I guess you guys, you two can talk on the Slack and try to. Yeah, okay, yeah. But now I'm facing another problem, which is I haven't, as I told you, I have installed Redash, but uh, after 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 adding the plugins, the chat GPT plugins, I was trying to rerun it. And I think we're supposed to uh, build the okay. Docker image again, right? In order to refresh it or rerun it. Yeah, you have to build it again. So let me show you my, my screen. I have did that and it's telling me that I have installed OpenAI and also Poetry. And uh it's telling me that uh, open ai command not, not found even after installing it 
it's so not me. Uh, you can share it. So if you install new packets, you have to run yarn files. Okay. Yeah, yarn no, build? Yeah, no, no build. Just yarn. You have to. Okay. Just the uh, error like more. Let's see. So this is OpenAI and this is there. I have tried to use the make build directory again in order to rebuild the image. Yeah, of course. It's, it's, uh, run yard. There are no scenarios, it's, it says. No, it should. There should. Could you open your source code, maybe? There is yarn drop lock, so it should build yard when you run. Uh, yarn. Well, the research through the local doc, uh, development oh. site or yes i'll follow the steps on the files the github file that you have shared okay so uh, maybe your folder is wrong i don't know yarn should have worked when you run yarn it should run uh, yarn there's a file called yarn dot look on my editor actually this the directory is your source code right will you turn yes. me up Yes, it is. This is the virtual box. This is in Rida. Uh, the let me sh uh, sh should I show you the V scope? Yeah, maybe or just write a list here, just to see the files inside it. Um, Okay, just let's see if I can just uh, write yarn. There are no scenarios. Are anything escaping the yarn dot look? Huh? Is, is, is yarn is organized inside your WS? WS or your Ubuntu server? I'm not sure about the server, but it is included in the in my base. No, 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 no. Um, it, I'm, I'm assuming that the Ubuntu is not recognizing the R keyword. Yeah, it's not recognizing it. So um, you, you type yarn dash H and between yarn and the dash space. Dash underscore or hyphen? No, no, hyphen, not like that. Normal. Dash D S H. Uh, I already. I already top, uh, type it inside the chat. You could copy paste from there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's nice. So you do have the yarn inside your system. Um, Okay, could you just, uh, the Redash has worked, right? Before? The Redash had worked before, but trying to refresh the Redash, it's just refreshing. It's just revolving around. It doesn't have any change. Uh, installing the yarn, there was uh, a part that we were supposed to install the yarn dependency, right? Yeah. It told me to use another uh, syntax or command, and right. I have done that, and I have shown the yarn being downloaded in my Ubuntu, in this terminal, actually. What is the command that you used? Mm -hmm. Which command do you use? Okay. I don't remember. It is uh, uh, apt, which is used for installing in. Uh, the, in uh, install. Just uh, click the up key arrow on your laptop and it will take us there. Yeah, just click. Uh, I'm not sure that it, it is here. It is not today's. It is not in today's terminal. Mm, does not track your history. Okay, sure. Um, just try to say yarn install now. Um, yeah, let me try to install again. Okay. No, no, do not install it. Just say yarn space install. Okay. Uh, so, uh, um, yarn dot yarn dot yarn space dot. Space. Yarn space dot yeah or perfect just install 
Um, yeah, it's not recognizing they are inside the reader source code. So mm -hmm. maybe try to look into that on the yarn when you install it, the one that you used, the command you said. Yeah. yeah. Try to find out a command, maybe that can guide you. That yes, there is. Use, uh, they use yarn, so it, it's better to make the yarn work before. And you have Node.js? I'm sorry, Rahmat. If, it's sorry. Okay. Um, do you have Node.js? Just type node dash b. Yes, I, I do have. Oh, please. Enter. You don't have Node.js. Okay, maybe it's due to. Okay, let's try to install Node.js. <laughs> Really I do have no JS on my PC. Uh, I'm not sure if the Ubuntu no. server is not recognized. Sorry, the virtual box also need to for you to make to make the node package installed. The virtual box? Yeah, it needs also to uh, Node.js. You you have to install Node.js on the virtual box separately. Okay. Mm. It does your uh, operating system, the Windows. It, it only I see the components that are added on the virtual box. So it doesn't look for on your computer, not the node is. Exactly. So but maybe what about it had worked once? It had uh, installed Redash and Redash was working on the first for the first time. Yeah. What about it? It could be good to, um, even though if, if, you, if the first time it worked, it's still missing. So it wouldn't work. So at the end of the day, as Rahmat is telling you, is that um, it's segregated uh, environment than your operating system. You always need to do um, the package installments as it is. So um, maybe try to install Node.js and um, APT, and we will see from there. If Yarn did not work, then you have so many other options to install or to run this whole um, project because it's. It's a Node.js project at the end of the day. Um, okay. Yeah. So let me try to install it yeah. and so, just as a final recommendation, just make sure uh, you have run the instance based on the local uh, development. The thing is, we, we don't know how you make it run. Um, the reader on instance you have used. You are saying you are you have used some other recommendation to install. So in studio, okay. Yeah, it's like apt. I, I might not be right. Uh, good, it's apt c m d l t. Th that kind of syntax or command had helped me to install the uh, yard in this. Yeah. It's apt and c m d l t stuff. So, just maybe try uh, to make sure, just repeat the process the local development, install Node.js and everything, and just make sure it runs exactly the same as the local development site because it should have worked the yarn should have uh, run inside the reader source code because they already set up the yarn on their system so when you click run it should have uh, with the yarn log and it should have run it so maybe i think there's some kind of uh, missing file during your installation so just install node.js on the system and the virtual box again and you repeat the process, the local development. Should I repeat the local, the, the all the process again, or just install Node.js? Because if I just install it even yeah. now, I think it can recognize Yarn. Yeah, start from there. Start from Node.js. It works. Yeah. Uh, start from the beginning and go through all the process again. No, just no. Uh, you install Node.js and see um, if it works. If it doesn't work. Uh, repeat the process okay. okay so you can simply just install it here and see if it works okay install notice uh what is the command to install notice on the local development they have used uh, the i think they are using nvm node version they have put the node version they want no, it's, you could simply install Node.js. Uh, Node version, if you really have so many different packages or to, you are in production ready apps, so you really try to avoid conflict. Yeah. 
for future. So I, I think if she simply install Node.js, she will save her time a lot. This way? Yeah. yeah. Why? Um, just now say um, um first let's check if we have uh, no js v no no dot uh, v not js sorry no dash no no uh, remove the js in the dot okay node also v this one that's installed i guess um, say npm uh, yeah so do I need NP? No, just check it. No, it's working. No, you don't need it. Um, just yarn, right? Or should I install yarn again? No. Just yarn. Let's see if this will work first. There are no scenarios. You must have at least one. Um, one of what? That's one thing I'm not. Yeah, the error is not clear. And do you mind if you copy paste this error to the chat? Okay. I just personally, but but uh, would recommend you to repeat the process, delete all the Docker emits and everything like that, and to reset uh, everything based on the local development site. I'm sorry, I have a question, really. Okay. Um, I mean, she just installed Node. Doesn't she need to install Yarn on mm -hmm. it separately? Sorry. Yeah, I think so. She has installed Yarn. I mean, did she install Maybe Yarn? I... Just okay. Yarn dot dot version. Let's see if Yarn is installed. Because if she installed Node, you get npm, but you don't get Yarn right away. You have to install it so separately. Do version or space? Yarn yes. space minus v. Um, I think it's good if you remove yarn. Don't remove the Docker. Mm -hmm. I think that would be last case or worst case. Yeah. You have to, have to do everything no. from the start. So it's good if you just say apt remove yarn and say apt uh, yeah. run this code. I, I have put uh, code on the chat to install yarn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first remove it, then use the code shared by. Um, See, this is what I have said the, like uh, previously, CMD test. It's not CMD the previous time, CMD test, I guess, what I showed. But I think it's have removed Yarn, I guess, right? Try to copy paste this thing um, as on the chart. Uh, don't copy the dollar sign, that's a command. Use MPT. A you need to install MPM. APT install MPM. Um, 
before before you install yarn, wait, wait, wait. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yarn, remove the CMD test. Um, there is a code on the chat. Okay. Copy paste the last uh, text. Yes. Now try to install your Okay, and work. Is this is okay? This pre install oh. user account. Um, let's say yarn. Yarn. Let's say yarn. Still no such way. Okay. Um, I need, I think it's good to use NPM. Uh, okay, you remove. You say yes. Yarn. Bucket has been added. Um, that's a bit weird. Um, it's supposed to install it. Okay. Um, just instead of giving a specific vision, might be try this. NPM. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I think I was supposed to uninstall that. The one that is before, or there is not in storage. It's been updated. Um, mm -hmm. um, you don't have yarn. If you had yarn, at least you would recognize it, or it would give us. Um, okay. Um, now let's say yarn dash edge. Yarn dash edge. As in help. Space dash edge edge. Did you say H? I didn't yes. heard you. Yeah. EDG? G? No, 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 no. Fetch or H? Okay. H, like in GH. Remove the G, just H. Oh, H, you say it. <laughs> uh, there is no such a file. So, Yarn is not installed. Okay, I think go with the. The, um, the first way we try to install Yarn by saying APT install. Okay. Unless I have forgotten the same thing. Okay. I think, uh, Radek, you, you and I will have a meet after a okay. while. So, uh, we will uh, repeat it again. Just remove everything from the virtual box. Uh, okay. the, yeah, we will go line by line the local development. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no worries. And, uh, allow me to interrupt you, Rahmat, and we invest our time on all of us. Would you mind to understand this last time? This comment. If this thing did not work, you will have a meeting with Rahmat. Would you? Would you what? Uh, say APT install yarn. Okay. It's one it install, I guess. Yeah, you're right. No, 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 no. Right, is <laughs> the first one for it. Should we check? Yeah, should we should check? Yeah, the mine is big. There are no scenarios. Disappointing. Um, well, um, it's just uh, rejecting everything. I don't know why. <laughs> At least the yarn version should have come by now. Yes, yes. So, um, my worries is that why CMD test is coming back? You shouldn't install CMD test. You should simply install yarn because CMD test is the one who's making the issues. And um, um, 
But I think you should go with this step that Rahmat is, was telling you this whole time. And thank you. Thank you, Nasrallah. Okay, yeah, thank you, Nasrallah. You have been helpful. So, uh, anyone maybe have a suggestion? Someone has this okay. So, Radit, you and I will just uh, go through the documentation again. Just remove everything on your virtual books. Including the one that I, uh, um, the, including the chat, uh, the chat GPT plugins and the file that I have cloned. Yeah, we will see from scratch. And um, what um, do you start doing the report? Uh, yeah, I have started, but yeah, I need time for that too. But I have started. Focus on that. And this type of box takes time, so uh, more of the related to operating okay. system. You could have a meeting with Rahmat, but and don't give all your time for especially for today's submission. Uh, I'm also worried about that here, right? Okay, but we will try to okay, make it on time. Arrange your time and reach out to me. Uh, it's okay to give priority for the documentation. Okay, okay, uh, Rahmat, thank you. So anyone else with a question? Maybe I have seen Ikram now. So maybe Ikram, could you share us your progress? You're there, Ikra? So could you unshare, uh, Radi? So I want to share uh, my screen for Ismora here. OK, I think she looks so good. She doesn't matter or something. OK. OK, so if you have no any other question, everyone? I guess we can end the session. I think we have we are past twenty minutes. Okay, so thank you for being here. Uh, please reach out to me on the Slack if you have any questions. Uh, I guess we can end the recording now. Have a nice day, everyone, so you can continue with your work for today's submission.